In this video, we are going to demonstrate the use of the My Email to Salesforce, which will allow us to create a record of an email that is sent through Outlook. We are going to use Power Automate to send an email to a contact, and through the use of the Salesforce feature, Email to Case, we then create a record of that sent Outlook email right on the contact. So the very first thing we do before we set up our flow is we go over to Salesforce. And what you're looking for is the settings under your profile. So click on view profile and then click on settings. That's gonna take you over here. And then over on the left side here under email, you'll wanna go to my email to Salesforce. And then you're gonna look under my email to Salesforce here. And here is that unique email to Salesforce ID. So this is essentially an email address that's unique to you. And by sending an email to this address, which you'll enter on your BCC line, that's going to then automatically add a record of that email um, to the contact on the two line. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that for later use and we'll hop over to Power Automate. And for this example, we're just going to create an instant flow. So we will manually trigger our flow. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to grab a, a contact from Salesforce that we can use in our flow. So for this, we'll add a step where we will get a contact. So let's search for our Salesforce connectors. We'll click Salesforce. And then we're going to do get record. So you have get records, but we just want to get one record, which we have an ID for. So now we're going to choose the object type of contact. So we can search contact, contacts, and select contacts. Now we need to go to Salesforce to get a record ID. So for this example, I'm just going to use my own uh, contact ID. So I'll go over to Salesforce and this is my contact and I need to get the ID and I can grab that right from the URL. It's the string of letters and numbers following the word contact. And I'll go ahead and I'll paste that in here. Now we can set up our send email. So we'll just search for send email and we're gonna grab the send an email v2. And this is where we send it to the contact. So instead of putting in my contact, I'm gonna use dynamic content. And then I will use this contact email under get record. And then subject, it's gonna go ahead and call a test. This is the test in the body. And now we wanna open the advanced options. And now this is where we can paste in our we're going to put that in the BCC line here. Now it's all set. So we are going to receive that email and then we can also um, set who it's coming from. So I'll just use my own email for that as well. Now we can go ahead and save. So let's go ahead and test this out and see where that email record gets added to my contact in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and test. We'll manually trigger it. Continue, run flow, and done. Now all we have to do is wait for that email to arrive and wait a minute more or a few seconds more and wait a little bit more for the record to get created in Salesforce. So our flow ran successfully. And let's go ahead and open the email that is sent to us. Here's the email that we received. Now let's go over to Salesforce to my contact. And that email record is going to get added under the activity tab over here. So if I click activity, I'm gonna see right here, email test. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. 
And it's going to take me to the record here. And what you'll notice is that the record is a task. So what that is doing is creating a type of object called a task. And it's got all the details under here of the email. So if we look down here under description information, we will see the body the subject and the body of the email right here. And we'll see who it went to as well. So if there are additional people that you added, such as people you put on copy, those people will show up here. And of course we BCC our Salesforce unique email address, but that's not going to show up here. And of course it's BCC. So the person you're sending it to is not going to see it. So that's how it works. And there's a lot of great functionality around this. Now you can set up an additional action in your flow. And I actually have a uh, video related to where you would add a um, modifier record action, which is a Salesforce connector. And basically after this task gets created, then the next step that would happen is that this task record would get updated so that this related to field is filled in so that you can essentially relate these tasks records to other objects in Salesforce. So I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.